Hey y'all, what's poppin'? I'm Taylor King, and this is Jonathan Collins, and we're What's Poppin' from Selma, Alabama. And it's a popsicle stand there. Um, we're inspired to create this business after spending our summer there as interns within the court system. There's a lot of issues in Selma, um, the top issues being poverty, crime, lack of education, unemployment, and racism. It's one of the poorest towns in the state with over 40% living under the poverty line and juvenile crime um, being out the roof. The Hope Academy is a kingdom-minded, court-mandated alternative school in Selma. Our goal is to start a program through businesses within the Hope Academy to help the kids learn to work with, the, with their hands. It would be unique and that would be one of the first and few juvenile vocational rehabilitation programs in the nation. What's Poppin' would be that program. Entrepreneurship is something that a lot of the kids have interest in, but know of how, no idea of how to do this, nor do they have the confidence that it can be even done. Every year, thousands of tourists flock through Selma um, in the Alabama heat with no place to purchase water or snacks. We would set up the popsicle stand in the middle of downtown by this bridge, and we would teach the kids how to market, how to make the popsicles, and how to sell them to tourists coming to their town. We believe that this simple endeavor would teach and inspire the kids that it would build hope, add color to the community, and teach them how to dream. At What's Popping, the two things that we value most are work first, and that being teamwork. And for us, we would define teamwork as relying on one another and having one another's back. But then we want to make a better life for the kids. And we would do that through teaching soft and hard skills to them, how to present themselves to businesses, to potential customers, the meaning of a handshake, the meaning of eye contact. We were created in the Imago Day. We were created for the Missio Day. Ephesians 1, it tells us that it's through Jesus' blood that we are redeemed. He forgives us for our sins through this act. And for us, we want the kids to know that their past doesn't define them because they're court ordered to come to us. They've believed the lie of the enemy for so long that they don't have an idea of who they are anymore. We see the gold and the potential in this town and in them, and that's what we want to call forth. One way that we would go about doing that is through discipleship. Conversation comes up naturally at Hope. Kids are eager to talk and we would give them the venue to do that. <clears throat> to fund this, we would just need wood, tires, a sandbag, an umbrella to build a shopping cart, square card reader, and an iPad to run a register for it. It's very doable, it would be easy to do, and it would be fun for the kids to be on the ground up of a project like this, seeing the ins and outs of entrepreneurship. Popsicles themselves, to make a batch of it, which would be 20 popsicles, it's about $10. If we sold that for $2 a popsicle, we're looking at a $30 profit from them. The Imago Day again, is what we were created in. We were created in the image of God, and part of that was created for work. God created us to do work, and we want to transform work for these kids, give them a proper idea of what work looks like, <clears throat> and not let them understand that God is love, and it's His love that transforms us, transforms everything about us, and even transforms work. We don't want our kids, like we said, the kids in Selma, to lose hope, to always dream. And by doing that, we want to give them a bread, a brighter and better tomorrow. And we hope that you would join that in with us.